<laughs> so now we're going to go down to turn by the Washington Monument and go. I want to try to show you where the Capitol is, get closer to the Capitol and the Lincoln Memorial and all that. And guys, I'm again, I'm sorry that it's raining. I can't control the weather. That makes it aggravating. You know, our cameras get wet when we get out and then it's windy on top of that. You see this homeless guy and look at how windy it is to him. I mean, he might as well not have that top. Or does he have a fan under that doing that? Mm, Sounds like he's got a fan under that. Is he doing that on purpose? Uh, he's warming himself. Yeah, he's got a fan. Now, what's he got it plugged into? I don't know. Oh, you know what? That's a uh, an exhaust on the ground that oh, he's over. Wow. Oh, he's sitting. I so think. he's tied himself over that where the warmth from it keeps him warm. Yeah. That's what it is. Wow. In ingenuity right there, friends. Smart. So you're going to look back to your right and you'll see the Capitol. Here's the Washington Monument right here. And you see all those cars at the Capitol. In fact, we'll be stopped somewhere along in here when we get in front of the Capitol. There's the White House. Yep. Yep, let me pull over. That's where Trump had his speech in it. His... Yep. We'll zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. That right there is, and usually you can get right up to all that right there that they've got blocked off. There's the police letting people in or not letting people in, the Capitol Police. And they've got that thing where if you, it'll block you and keep you from going in there. Did you see that? Yeah. See it come back up? Yeah. Yeah. Man, I'd hate to have to stand in the rain all day. Mm-hmm. Like that guy. But here's all the barricades around. You can see how far we are from the Capitol building. Because you used to go Or over. from the White House, I mean. The White House. Yep. All right, this is the Potomac. One of these bridges, remember that airplane crashed on it. So there's the Jefferson Memorial right there, friends. And that is, you're gonna see the top of his head when I zoom in. Barely see him, he's in there peeking out. You see him wave? Bless you, buddy. Get out the street. Just out walking? I'm walking. Yes, indeed, I'm talking. It's all these slums. Got these beautiful apartments, and then you got this. <laughs> and they got to. We're getting ready to make a turn here. So I'm going through the tunnel again. Through the tunnel again. And we're going to come out and we're going to go over a bridge. So I will play you a nice little musical interlude right here through the tunnel. First, I'm going to blow the horn. Because that's what you do in the tunnel. You don't know, try it. Let's hold your breath. It's fun. It was 1982. I remember it being icy and weather, you know, snow, that kind of stuff, and the bridge was covered with ice when I believe it was Flight 90 crashed. And I remember seeing it on TV and just feeling horrible that these people 
had this had happened to them and they were in the icy water. I think 74 or 75 people died in this crash going from memory. But it was this bridge right here. I believe it was this one. I'll get a look at it. Because I can remember seeing that in the background of the photos of the bridge when it happened. It wasn't this one, it was the next one, I believe. It could have been this one. But I think it's the next one. This is it coming up. And I'm sorry it's taking so long, friends. I, I, I'm looking, you can see it's got a checkered flag on it coming up. There's Jefferson. And there's the Jefferson Memorial. And the truck <laughs> couldn't have been placed yeah, any more any perfectly more to perfect. keep us from getting that shot. I Good did. Lord. I saw Jefferson for a split second. Yep, what in the world. So, Ironically, you see an airplane on that sign. They crashed onto this bridge, one side or the other. I believe it was that bridge right there um, because I remember seeing the rails. And it looks like it was actually that side over there. I can remember those rails right there. So it crashed onto that bridge and took out a section. And this is where it happened now. We're going to go down and turn around and come back. George Washington Memorial Parkway. Let me look. Yep. I needed to be turning right, right there and I missed it. Yep. This is the Pentagon, so there it is. Yep, there's the Pentagon. So that's how close it was to the Pentagon. Wow. But this is indeed the Pentagon. And boy, that is a big building too. Look at how big that building is. It's huge. It's huge. And it's September 11th. Hmm. And we're on the other side of the road from it. I didn't realize that. I thought we were closer. But there it is. Look at that guard shack up there on top of that little bridge right there. I'm assuming that's an entry point. Yeah, so they have it so you park on this side, you take the bridge and go across. Or you can drive across right here. They got a lot of barriers up. Bad things happen, changes everything first. It really does. Cemetery. Mm -hmm. I've been to that. I have to. John F. Kennedy's buried up there. Mm -hmm. Lee Marvin. Joe Lewis, the boxer. Really? Yep. I didn't realize that. Yeah, he's buried up there. So that is your Pentagon right there, friends. And I'm kidding about not knowing why they call it the Pentagon. Come on. Come on. Really? Y'all really thought I didn't know? Could be the Octagon. I mean, why not? Might as well. When I envision living in the city, this right here is what I'm thinking of.
These people put up their own reserve parking signs. That's what I think of right there. That's a very high dollar looking gas station. You can see it's kind of old, old garage doors and stuff, but they're putting brand new pumps and stuff. They're revamping it. It's gonna be pretty neat. I love that. That old school meets new school look. And then you got this dude standing out here, just looking at everybody. He's looking down at everybody, hey. Yeah, you see how he's got his hands? He's about to tell somebody something. Some really ornate bridges. Well, we're a long ways up too. Look down. Yeah, we are. We're a long ways up. Taka, taka, taka. Good job. All right, friends. You see a familiar structure ahead of us. I see some barricades. Looks like a lot of barricades. That's what I want to see. Oh, wow. Wow. Crazy amounts of barricades. <laughs> You know what? You don't act right. You make the American people mad. Guess what happens? You have to have barricades. Look at that barbed wire. Yep. Got a great shot of it. They have built a fence. And there's Long. armed military guys in there. Yeah, look, he's walking around. Look at that soldier. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I don't know why we're sitting at a light. There's nobody coming. There's no point in the light. So you can't even get it. Yeah, there's a, a guard down there. He's got a gun. I see him. You know, they're calling for gun control and they're calling for taking the fence down. And I want you to look right here. This is. Are you getting them? Yeah, they're walking down the street with guns. Mm -hmm. That's un un unbelievable. And we need to park here and walk down that. Yeah. We well, gotta do that, aren't we? Yeah. We've got to. So friends, we are downtown Washington, D.C. and you can see the Capitol is right there. And they've got giant fences around this whole thing. Armed military, literally armed military, walking to us with guns. Yeah, walking with guns. And they're just doing their job. I get that. But if they weren't doing such nasty things to American people here, they wouldn't have to do all this stuff. They're not worried about somebody coming from another country. They're worried about Americans. It shouldn't even be a thing. Hey guys. <laughs> Checking us. This is unbelievable to me. It is. In America. And here, they're taking down 
the border walls and claiming that they're trying to, to do away with guns, but yet they have guns and walls. You don't want to climb that thing. Man, you don't want to climb that. Checking me out, boy. Yeah, they are big time. Yeah, they checking me out. Like I, I feel like I'm being profiled over there. They are. They don't like no long hairs around here. That's the Department of Labor and Statistics. Do I? You want to give your speech right here? I've already right? given a speech, but I'll give another one. Yeah, give it. Give. Let me let me tell you something. America, these fences right here and these guns, you wouldn't have to have those uh, liberals, Democrats. You wouldn't have to have all this if you were acting right. That's right. If you were acting right, you wouldn't be afraid of the American people. Y'all didn't put this up because you're afraid that Germany's coming or, or the Arabs are coming. You put this up because you're afraid Americans are coming. I tell you what, I... I'm not making a threat, but I think you both straighten up and fly right. Right now, y'all are making all the wrong moves. You're trying, I think you're trying to incite something. And then pointing at the <laughs> at us like we're doing something wrong. Y'all are wrong. The Constitution is very clear, and you're stepping outside of it. It's time for you to pull it back together. Y'all need to probably sit down and actually read it, just like the bills you like. You like to pass bills and not actually read them. How about reading the Constitution and understand that it is a constitution to deliver, not to limit us, to limit you. That's what the constitution's for. It's to limit the government, not to limit the citizens. Y'all got it completely backwards. And y'all are gonna continue with this and it ain't gonna go well. That's all I'm gonna tell you. And that's real. That's real talk from the spot guy. <laughs> Yeah, we're going around it completely around the other side, so we're getting every side. It'll focus now, I got it. You know, right now, red car would ride right directly in your spot. Yeah, right where I needed it to be. Yep, still is. Yeah, I think it was easy. Other side. Look at those three do lollies right there. And that's actually what they call them. Do lollies? Do lollies, yeah. Why is that? Three do lollies sticking up because that's what they call them. I guess that's art. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't look like art. But... <laughs> so make sure when you're watching the Weekly Spa Guy, you subscribe, you give me a big thumbs up if you like the video, and watch. The Weekly Spa Guy, friends. Thank you.